Well, tonight we are tackling the problem of robocalls. We know you get them and like us, you hate them, right? They are <laughs> frustrating. They are so annoying. Yes, they come at all hours of the day and the night bothering us. They're waking us up, waking the kids up, interrupting dinner, certainly maddening despite the best efforts to try to stop them. So who's making these calls and what is being done to stop it? Well, the WCNC Charlotte Defenders, along with our 63 sister stations and digital platforms in the Tegna Broadcast Group, are going after robocalls and the people who make them. Consumer investigative reporter Bill McGinty has been working on this project since last fall. Bill, we're excited to see what you and the investigative team have uncovered. So how big of a problem is this? This data that you're seeing here on the screen is robocall data from just April. 4.4 billion calls made. That's roughly 147 million a day, almost 2,000 a second, breaking down to almost 14 calls per person. Let's stop the calls. A complaint has been filed against you and your soldiers. This is the Medicare department calling to inform you. Now is the time to act. I get robocalls daily. Whether you have a landline or a mobile phone, it doesn't matter. There's a call there and they're trying to scam you. All you need is your laptop and a mouse and a credit card. And you go online and after two hours of Googling, you'll be calling thousands, tens of thousands, or even millions of people. Okay, let's stop this story for a moment and consider Mark. Hi, Mark. Mark doesn't know it, but in this game, he's the Mark. And Patsy? Hi, Patsy. She's the Patsy. Now, you might not fall for the robocall, but Mark and Patsy, they tend to live up to their names. Problem is, in a country of millions and millions of phone numbers, their numbers amount to a pair of needles in a haystack of needles. Ouch! It all makes the search for them a game, a game of chance. Not long ago, the rules were simple. One quarter, one pool, one call. Hello? Hello? Slow, methodical, and not terribly productive. <sighs> Which makes now the perfect time to talk about the robo. Half of the robo call automation turns one pull every 10 seconds into 10,000 calls every second. Yes, that's happening. It is millions of people a day. And if you just get a 0.01% rate of people that start to take that message seriously. And of those, if just 1% of those progress to the next step, it might be one in a million, but if you get a couple of those a day, you've scored pretty big. And the phone bill for that, hundreds of dollars. Hundreds for millions of rolls of the dice, stacking the deck against you and your odds, and robocall free night, all while turning each one of us into a mark or a patsy, or a just plain sucker in a game where the odds are no longer in our favor. Spoofing is, is to call somebody using robo-dialing technology and make it look like the call is coming from Apple Computer or Microsoft and that they're calling you um, because you have uh, a credit if you just give them your credit card number. And it happens to Beth here in the 704 a lot too much and she's sick of it. I either block the number if I can or I just ignore it until they finally get frustrated and stop calling me. But they don't always give up and here's the how and why. This is Yuri from Apple Support. They will spoof a caller ID like they're from the IRS and they will call you and tell you that you have an overdue tax bill of $7,000 and that there's a warrant out for your arrest for non-payment of taxes but you could settle it today for $500 pennies on the dollar. If you, if you go ahead and, and send us the money today, we'll close this matter out. The IRS has now made available new programs. If you're making millions and you pay a fine that's in the tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars, it's a cost of doing business. Going to jail is one thing, but paying money, it's just another bill you have to pay. Hello? Nearly half of all mobile calls in the U.S. are robocalls, turning your phone into a $1,000 flashlight. Americans received more than 58 billion robocalls in a single year before the pandemic. And that number continues to grow, making us ask ourselves, how do we stop the calls? 
So in this series of reports, we are questioning lawmakers and we are hearing from victims that will pose a dire warning to you about robocalls. Follow along with me on WCNC.com. Look at all the data that our investigative team has uncovered here in the Carolinas and nationwide. It is shocking. Guys.